Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play, and I think this is actually it. This is this is the pinnacle here. This is the top. We are going all the way to the top, actually, up there to deal with Almighty Sinnoh of Time, my friends. Is it time? Dialga's time? Palkia's space? It's happening. Anyway, hit the like button if you guys have enjoyed this series. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Don't forget, A Drive Live, you get the early access. Shout out to everybody. We got the Switch giveaways. You don't want to miss it. Without further ado, let's dive in, man. Like, I'm excited. I want to see what this lady's got going on, too. Like, what are you dealing with? Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you encounter is the temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of time. Oh, wait, I already talked to you about this. But you have to aid its counterpart, Palkia. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can be once again as it should. Now, Palki is at your side, and make for the temple once more. She legit said the same thing as she said at the end of the last episode. I thought I was going crazy for a second. I must say, this is quite an intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me? Is it the time for shopping? Well, I hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. I feel like she time traveled too. All right, A-Drive, once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. All right, let's get it. I'm ready to go. Why do they keep, like, delaying me from going? I'm trying to go. I'm ready. Let's get it. I'm ready to go. They keep keep talking to me. I'm ready to go. This is how you know I really enjoy this game. Like, I could just fast travel there, and I'm legitimately going to fly there. Because I like to, like, travel and see different things. Because you never know what you're going to run into. What's going on, Bolo? Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you could buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to set up here close to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer once the battle actually begins. You don't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Still don't trust you, Volo. I don't know, man. Something about your enthusiasm has me a little sketched out. Anywho, to the top of the mountain we go. There it is, dude. This is really cool, by the way. One of my favorite locations in all of Pokemon is this temple. It looks really dope. For so long, I thought that I'd have to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. A-Drive, in all of vast space, you, your place has found you. What in the world does that mean? It's a Pearl Clan saying. It reminds us in occasions we must rise to are also stages where we may prove ourselves where we might shine our brightest. So basically, you're saying not to feel nervous. I'm starting to see the appeal of how you Pearl Clan people think, in some situations anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. A drive, protect Asui and her people. Protect time and space and her Pokemon. All right, time to deal with the frenzied Dialga. There he is, look at this unit. Oh my gosh, what's happening? The whole thing just got blown up. Is this why the spear pillar is like destroyed? Palkia looks ready to fight, dude. He's got like his fighting stance going. Shooting at a beam. Oh, snap, look at that! That's Dialga's origin form! Dude, it looks so cool. It looks way better in-game than it did as a sprite. Oh man, I gotta throw the time bombs at him? Where did I get these from? Oh my god! Dude, this thing is busted. Oh boy, I gotta get out of here. 
Dude, this thing is actually busted. Okay. Oh my god, he hit me again! It's tough because I don't like know his movements. This one I know now. Alright, I've almost got him half, but I'm also pretty weakened. Oh, dude, he keeps hitting me, man. I need to get into a fight with him. When can I battle him? I'm just gonna keep dodging. Right, he's doing this thing! Oh my god, these are like Draco meteors, dude. I'm dead. Oh, I'm super dead. Oh my god, just keep rolling. Oh gosh. I'm in red now. That's it. And he got me. He beat me. Dude, that's my third time on this run. I actually feel like doing this as a hardcore Nuzlocke. I'm gonna continue the battle would be actually nuts. Uh, I'm gonna keep the previous progress. I don't I don't personally see the point in resetting as we've done this whole time But man This guy's intense dude, okay, so he's at half Oh, that's that dude he got me again So it looks like even though he's at half now, he still does, like, he starts the same positioning he was. Like, in terms of his moves. Oh, he's hitting me again. I'm almost got him here, though. Oof. I got him so low. I just gotta hit him one more. Right there, right in the back, buddy. Whew. I'm surprised I didn't get to fight him in the middle of that, though. And there is the new origin ball, which looks so clean. And there's the red chain swirling around it. Boom. And we got him! Now I have both Palkia and Dialga. Look how happy my dude is! And we're gonna clear the sky, look at that! Wow, and there's no rift! How about that? We did it! We saved the world! Does that mean there's no like space-time distortions and stuff anymore? That can't be. He caught it. He really did it, didn't he? Myers aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Yeah, oh, good show. What a catch. You contained the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, A-Drive. Finally. Formidable as usual, A-Drive. Yes. So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. What a sight to have witnessed. Hmm. Ouch, what gives, Commander? Not sure I deserved a sumo throw. Well, at least this is no dream. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times that we'd fight over who was right or wrong are ancient history now. 
I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree, but this may be the best path forward, protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hasui region. Yeah, I mean, they were both right. They both worshipped, you know, the almighty Sinnoh, but it, one was Diago, one was Palkia. I'm like confused though, what happens next now that the rift is closed? Cause there was a lot of things that kind of took place cause of the rift, like the, the distortions. There's, it's gonna have to open back up. I, I will say, dude, the characters' expressions, like the, your expressions, the protagonists are so bad. Uh, one day Pokemon will get that. Their, their face expressions are really bad. And I think that's the credits. It is the credits, nice. All right, well, we get to see some clips, but I think I'll probably just skip through this and watch it on my own. And then uh, I guess I'll react if anything cool happens, but I don't think it's specific to us, so. Hey, it's the big celebration. Thank you for adventuring with us. I guess we don't actually get to see a party happening. It's just a nice little uh, kind of collage picture. I still don't know what's next though. I feel like there's more. There's gotta be more. My art phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. Yeah, no, I got that, bro. I've been trying. I've been trying, homie. Good morning, A-Drive. It looks like the space-time rift has vanished. The sky's gone back to normal, which I suppose we better get back to completing our original mission, completing the Pokedex. We're gonna meet at the Survey Corps option to discuss our next steps. See you soon. So I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Sure did. Indeed. That only seems natural, given the crowd. I believe last night you were the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Laventon, to business. What is the current state of the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress, all in all. Though we put a, could afford to put a little bit more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends, after all. Who knows if they're even real? With how little we know about Hisui's history and legends, it seems a tall order for us to tackle. Pardon? Couldn't help but over here. If it's Hisui and le history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Well, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead of, <clears throat> I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, A-Drive, you are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo, and work together as needed for the sake of the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood, I'll set up at the Heights Camp then. I'll be expecting you. The Researcher of Myths. Besides, I'd like to discuss something with you too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. All right, I guess we're going to go see him. Is this just like a Lucario here? Something the matter, Lucario? Who's this guy? I'm Rye, and you are? Oh, you're A-Drive, nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Oh, so Rye wants to battle me in the training grounds. Okay. Many of the Diamond Clan says she was saved by a mysterious Pokemon many years ago. Listen to her story and determine whether there's anything to do in the follow-up. And the Darksome Nightmare. Kale of the Pearl Clan has reported seeing a strange Pokemon in the Coronet Highlands. Speak with the fellow in my lab and see if you can get, catch the Pokemon concerned. I have a feeling that I know what these two are. You're the one who accepted my request, well let's get right to business. There's an old tale that's long been told in the Hisui region about a dark nightmare that visits people on lonely paths at night. I never put any stock in it myself until I saw it. I saw a terrifying black Pokemon, just like the one in the stories. They say that people who are trapped in the nightmares, it creates never wake again. We can't wait for someone to fall victim to it. We've got to ask before it can happen. I saw it near the Claimer Claw Cliffs, partway up Mount Coronet. And it was when I was walking alone at night, just like the old stories all say. Be careful if you go in search. I wouldn't want you to lose your life over this. I know what Pokemon that is. It's definitely Darkrai. <laughs> and I think the other one might be Shaman. I think those are the two quests you get for uh, having BDSP and uh, maybe Sword and Shield. So I'm gonna hit the training grounds first, but I actually wanna go grab my Grudra. And then I'm gonna hit the training grounds and face off against Rai, I think. So here's our Dialga. 
But uh, I'm not, like I said, a huge legendary guy. So I'm gonna grab our homies here and I'll let these two chill in the box at level 65. Well, there he is. He's chilling over here. What's up, Rai? I take it you're ready for our battle. Let's forgo the small talk and proceed. So why does this random dude just want to battle me with his Lucario? I don't know, I'm ready for it. And our starter Pokemon Pyre is ready as well. Level 62, okay, that's not too bad. I think I just go for the flamethrower. I resist his steel moves and I'm immune to his fighting moves. And I one-shot him. And I'm the same level, so take that. Roof, that was a wonderful battle. Seems like we need to redo our training, Lucario. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon and that's helped to make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Okay, well, thanks for the fight, I guess. What's up, Volo? Oh, there's a stone thing here. Adrav, there you are. Have a look, a good long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled out their Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters, rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of the brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. All-encompassing? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name? Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard his name. It does sound familiar. Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? But now let's discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzy nobles. Haven't you noticed that they have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. The original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Adrive? I think we should try to gather all the plates. And I've got just the idea where to start. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. All right, to Grueling Grove. All right, what's good, man? I'm in the Grove. Now, according to my investigations, an Alpha Vestalquen, Adrav, do you think you can handle this? I mean, yes. Let's get it then. I hope he doesn't have Power Jam though. He probably is. Level 60? That's a big boy. All right, I'm gonna go. If he has power gem, I die anyway. I might as well just strong style air slash and hope I kill him. I don't think I will though. If I had cleaver out, I do, but uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, he has power gem. I knew he was gonna have power gem. I knew it. Okay, um, we can go. Honestly, like anything KOs at this point, I might as well go Ursaluna. Casey power gems again. Uh, I could just ice punch now. We're chilling. Ah, goodbye. And we get the stone plate just randomly? Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to have the find the plate roaming around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information on, so that's that. And yet, nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect that there still must be more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know about all the plates. Mistress Kagita? The one and only Mistress Kagita. Uh, you haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her, her help in obtaining the red charm. Uh, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So to the ancient retreat. I'm really like kind of concerned or confused as to like why of all things that they could have done there, they made it a Vespaquin. Oh, there's a giant hair across. Hello. They made it a Vespaquin though. Like, Oh, there's another Motham. There's a lot of Mothams. Might as well check to see if there's any Shawnees here. Because we all know how my luck is. Um, I'm a little, like, confused slash slightly disappointed slash unsure as to why that was the case. That's a very weird thing. Like, why was it... Why was it a Vespaquin? Of all Pokemon. They couldn't have given it a rock Pokemon to hold it? I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Oh, lost one, it's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well, and you carried out your duty as you were bid. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about the plates. Ah, yes, a tale whose origin lie a millennium or two ago. 
Those are the days of ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended across many generations. These forebearers of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region. And I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought you surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator Arceus had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on, the answers to these mysteries may even shed light onto why A-Drive fell from the sky. I see what you intend. Very well, I'll help as best as I can. There are still tremendous Pokemon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? Okay, so this is a good start. So the three lake Pokemon. So we go, That this is, this is good. So I know I can go get the three lake Pokemon. The Volcano is Fire Spit Island to get uh, Heatran. Crescent Moon. You must go to meet where the moon's gaze instructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Make for the Coronet Highlands for now. Okay. The Temple Giant. Snow Point Temple, you must find the door that's sealed. And the beginning. Where, where is it that you first fell to Earth? Plate of Prelude Beach. Okay. I'm good. I can do this. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that Mother Weather had stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed for your own sake and for that you Pokedex you labor on. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress Kagita. That's more information to work on. Now let's go find those plates. All right, I know what I gotta do, man. This is hype. There's a lot for us to tackle here in the post game. It's just as I suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search A drive. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the back of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kagita mentioned, A drive. I have my own avenues of research that I like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Asui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. All right, well, I have a lot of cool things to do now, and I'm really excited about the post game. So let's go do some stuff. I've had a message from Mrs. Mistress Kagita. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with the merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. That's actually where I wanted to go first was Prelude Beach because the other ones I know what the Pokemon are, but I don't actually know what is at Prelude Beach. So that's what I wanted to do first. All right, what's good, man? Oh, you're wearing your outfit. Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now it is not the time for words. Face me in battle. All right, let's throw down then. He's got five Pokemon now. Okay. And he's gonna lead off with a Golem. Now the good news is I have a much stronger energy ball now because I did master it earlier. Level 65. All right, I'm gonna use strong style energy ball and we'll just bop this thing. Okay, that's a good start. What else you got for me, man? A Braviary, yeah, this I'm getting wrecked by. Esper Wing, but he misses. Okay, um, but he gets to attack twice and air slash to me and now I'm dead. I feel like luck, luck has gotten destroyed a lot on this run, but that's okay. Uh, let's go Redemption. And let us go, I mean, I get to attack twice anyway. So let's just regular Stone Axe. I don't really see any reason not to. And I wonder if the shards will get him here. It does not. Um, I think I just regular Stone Axe again. I missed, I needed to X scissor, that was dumb. Full restore, okay. That's fine. And this, the shards come. All right, now I think Stone Axe KOs. Okay, good, so Braviar is gone, no harm done. What else you got? Clefable again. And I'm gonna take a Water Pulse from Clefable? Ouch. I'm gonna strong style Stone Axe. See how much this does. Level 65, bro. 
All right, that doesn't KO, but I do get the splinters in him. And then he's gonna drain and kiss, and I do live. There's a chance I can get the KO here with another strong style uh, stone axe. So let's go for it. And I'll get rid of the Clefable as well. Okay. I wonder if Kamado has the plate. And that's why he's facing me right now. Heracross. That's a very Kamado-like Pokemon. Um, what's my best? I mean, he's gonna have defense drop, so I can go Pyre. Yeah, we can go Pyre for sure. And I think just a Flamethrower is fine here. Yeah, I'll just regular Flamethrower. I don't even think I need a strong style. Like, this should just KO. All right. I'm like actually under leveled, which is crazy, dude. And what else you got? And a Snorlax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's gonna strong style a Giga Impact, high horsepower. I'm gone. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um. What's my play here? Probably. I guess it could be. I'll, I'll do Venomax, Poison Jab into Barbarage, maybe. So I get two attacks off either way. Can I get three? No, I can't get three. So we might as well just Poison Jab. Snag a poison? No. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a poison no matter. Uh, get to go first either way. So he's gonna KO me here no matter what. Yeah, I needed the poison to be able to KO him. Oh, we live. And I can finish him off with a poison jab. Level 66 Snorlax, dude. I do feel like his team is very fitting for him. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. Got some levels there too, I need them. I need the levels. You've grown stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. Oh, he did have the tablet, bro. I was right. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should show up now, and with you, with who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adaman, Arita, it appears we're all guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. It might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. I know I've no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among those Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Cornet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about wild Pokemon of this region will serve to illuminate our path as we walk into the future. Based on Kogita's hints, there's four more plates left for me to find. Sweet. Yeah, I just got a leaf stone for that? Sweet. I just did this like really funny quest where I had to show them all, all three of them what a Burmy looked like. And uh, I had to show all three Burmies and I got a leaf stone out of it, which I mean, that's a win to me. All right, I came back once more to try to get this Blissey, which keeps evading me. Oh, I got it, let's go, dude. Oh man, that's another page down, let's get it. I actually think this is where we're, we're gonna wrap up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it as we did beat the main part of the game and we are beginning our post game quest for the plates. So we've got some really epic episodes coming up. I'm gonna do the Dark Rat thing, I'm gonna do the Shaman thing, we're gonna do the plates, we're gonna do all sorts of stuff. And we're gonna bust out 100% of this game. It's gonna be great. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Big shouts to the early access members on adrivelive.com. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.